Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Ryan Dins, and in this episode, we are going to talk about what's going on with Kronos. I happen to be very excited right now, and this is why. Look at this. This is all the cryptos right here. Everything up. Bitcoin up 7.6%, Ether up 10 Cardano up 38% in a week, which I own too, but that's not what this video is about. Everything is up. And that is super cool. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. And I believe there's a combination of what's going on right now is the stock market has been pretty good. There's been peace talks in Ukraine. There's been a lot of positive news lately. And I mean, let's be honest, this inflation is completely out of control. There's no reason that crypto should not be going up. If you don't own any crypto, you're leaving yourself vulnerable to the bad people who run our world controlling your dollar and making it lose money anytime they want. They have a very smart plan where they want to take the wealth from everyone except the super elite and then funnel it to them by printing money, lowering our money, and giving all the money they print to them. That's for another video. But crypto is a very good thing to own right now. And we're just going to get into what's going on with Kronos. Why is it blowing up? And here we go. Before we do that, please hit that like and subscribe button. And all right, so here's Kronos right here. And I made this, I did not just make this for this video. I made this a long time ago. You can see my past videos. I call this breakout and it broke out, but it broke out slow. And as you can see, look at this big volume back here. The, the volume's not there. Let's be real. The volume's not there. But it doesn't matter if the volume's there, if there's more buyers and sellers, which is happening right now. So let's get rid of these Bollinger Bands so it's easier to see. Um, you know, right here, I guess you could call this a, uh, a small cup pattern where right here is the moment of truth. Can it make it past this 45? If it does, if you see this go to 46, it is probably going to go to right here. So what's that, 55? I mean, there's a little bit of resistance right here as well at 50, but it could go to 50, could go to 55. I'm talking about short term, long term. I mean, we're going to see a dollar eventually on this. So um, right now I'm not selling at this moment, but if I see it start to trace back a little bit, I might sell a little bit and rebuy. Mm. On second thought, I'm probably not going to actually. Um, the only times I sell is like when I see this, like I, I sold some of my Cardano because this is just like really, um, you know, really big. And you also want to look at Bollinger Bands, which is a big thing. And like, look, this is clearly out of the Bollinger Bands. So that means it's not like anytime you see it come out of the Bollinger Bands, look, goes down. Out of the Bollinger Bands, go down. Out of the Bollinger Bands, like Bollinger Bands are great. Um, now, if you look at the Bollinger Bands here, it's a little bit out right now. So it might pull back, but if it kind of consolidates a little bit, it might not. So watch it carefully, but I'm just going to tell you what I think is going to happen. I think it's going to pull back a little bit and then really go for this next run to the 50, 55 mark, which would be somewhere between a like 12, to like 25% um, from where we're at. So that's very good news. Um, you just want to watch what's going on with this. This is really, really up to what Bitcoin does though. So we're just going to look at Bitcoin right here. Um, if you watch my videos, you know, a lot of these times I look at the other coins. I just don't talk about the coin that, uh, that I'm, you know, the videos on because you want to look at what Bitcoin's doing. It's really important. Bitcoin controls everything. And the issue with Bitcoin I see right here is we got a one top. I'm not going to call this a double top here because it's the, let's just call it one right here because it's kind of the same. And two, it could be the third triple top here. And then it's going to have to decide um, what it's going to do. At that point, it's either going to, uh, I'll do the four hours. So you can even see this a little bit more, um, a little bit smaller level. But yeah, I mean, this is going to be a big, big resistance right here that Bitcoin's going to have to break out of. It's not going to be easy. 
And it's it, to make it worse, it's at a, like right around 45,000, which is a big mental area, you know? Like if it was like 43,000 at that, it'd be like one thing, but like 45,000, they're like, people are looking at 45,000 and they're probably a lot of sell orders there. You know, I haven't really checked what the sell orders are doing, but uh, you know, there's going to be some sell orders there. However, if we get some good news, you know, like, Oh, the war's over or something like that. Um, I mean, it could just burst through this and then blow up because it makes no sense in my opinion that crypto is not blowing up right now because of what's going on in the world. Our money's being deflated. Like, why is everyone not rushing to crypto? It's This is clearly something that's going to overtake money in the future, clearly. But it's taking a little longer um, than expected. And I'll tell you one thing right now. You'd be really stupid to, like, sell all your crypto right now because worst case scenario, it loses, you know, half its value. Best case scenario is you're going to see, like, a, like a 10x. I mean, the, the risk reward is, is a lot greater. Um, you know, just, just don't put your life savings in it because it could it, it could go down, you know. Um, so with that being said, it's looking bullish for, uh, for Bitcoin, but, you know, keep your eye on it. So when you, when you zoom out of the charts, this does look like a lot really quick, but this is a breakout. Anything can happen. And this isn't a normal, like a normal stock breakout, you expect 20% and it'd be done with. But crypto is different. Some breakouts are like 50 to 100% in a matter of weeks. Like that could totally happen with something like this because the market cap is like not really, really high. I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, the market cap is, um, you know, 11 billion. It seems like a lot. So sounds like a lot, 11 billion, you know. But when you look at some of these top dogs, like Binance coin, you know, it's, it's still whatever, six, six times less than uh, Binance is. If it was buy that's what I'm saying. Like, here's the reason why I'm not, I'm not buying any Binance right now, personally. If you want to do it, fine. But at this market cap, I mean, how much is this really going to grow? Especially. Binance blew up so fast because it was one of the only good exchanges. It was the only huge exchange that had a coin. Um, now this comes into play. This could 6X and reach, if it reaches the market cap of Binance. I had someone, uh, a comment that I'm going to address in one of my other videos that I said, um, you know, that that this could reach $10. And he said, oh, clickbait, uh, clickbait. You know, somebody said that like, but it would only have to 20 X, which 20 X seems like a lot, but if this doubled, right. And then this matched what that was a double. There you go. I'm sure my math's a little off, but you get the point. Like, you know, like there's no reason that this can't eventually 20 X or at least 20 X is a little, okay. Maybe that's a little greedy, but like it's, uh, Wait, where are we? Where, where are we? Where are we? There's no reason that this can't eventually be like a $200 billion market cap because look at it, look at Ethereum. Now, for it to become a $200 billion market cap, it would be have to be like a more household name. You know, like if, if uh, everybody had a uh, crypto.com app, everybody traded on crypto.com. Like, and think about it, everyone everyone who's smart and has a brain and invests, like they got a fidelity account, right. Or they got, uh, you know, TD Ameritrade. There's no reason that something like this can't become the next TD Ameritrade if crypto blows up and crypto continues to head North. So I personally am very bullish on Kronos and, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they got a good team. The, the only thing that I can say is, um, I, I do hear a lot of complaints about the app itself, like little things that people are complaining about. Um, but, you know, they're working hard. They got the money. Um, and they're really, really, the, the thing that I like about them, I, I'm a marketer myself. Um, and nobody's marketing like they are. Seriously, nobody's marketing like they are. The only people marketing like they are are things like Coinbase that don't have a coin. You know, have you ever seen a Binance commercial on TV? Yeah. 
I haven't. So they're really trying to get their name out there. And I just see this being a top 10. I just see this being a top 10 coin um, in the very near future. And if it's a top 10 coin, it's going to double. So like if, if, if I'm wrong, it doesn't 10 X. It probably put it this way. Will it 10 X? I don't know. Maybe 50% chance, you know, um, will it double? I would say it's closer to 90% chance. So why, why would you not get involved right now? Um, so that is kind of all I got to say. I don't want to go talking in circles saying the same thing over and over, but like this really is something that you got to look at for the future and go crypto. If you have not liked and subscribed to the channel, do it right now or forever behold your peace. Peace out. That's all I got to say.